This is the second video where I'm showing you how to play Jerusalem Ridge on mandolin. And in this video we're covering the third and the fourth part. And I learned this version, that is, as I said, from Tim O'Brien. So let us have a listen to Tim O'Brien when he's performing this song with Chris Thiele. And now we're listening to the third and the fourth part of the tune. Sounds like this. I really like the C and the D part of this tune because hearing this you can feel that it's a it's a whole composition this song when each part is like complementing each other. Let me show how you play those two parts. Mandolinstudies.com My name is Magnus and I hope my videos can make you a better and more inspired mandolin player. If it's your first time at my channel, please subscribe. I have new videos like this coming out every week. This third part of the tune is quite interesting. For the D chord you can hear people play it in either minor or like a major touch to it. And uh, I guess in this version Tim O'Brien uses the major and that's the one I like the most. So that's what we're gonna play. I play it slowly so you can hear it. You're coming from the B part. We're still in the key of A minor, of course, playing this note. And we're using both F note and F sharp. That's what I meant with this. Uh, sometimes it's D ma minor, D major flavor. And the whole part starting with a pickup, uh, like a triplet here. Down to the E. And right here I'm using the F note. Also for the right hand when doing this triplet, uh, I'm using an upstroke for the first A. Meaning I'm coming down on a downstroke on the E. And this is, um, as, I, as far as I can see, this is also how Tim O'Brien is playing this triplet. Same thing again with a small variation. The variation uh, that is most recognizable here is for the D chord. Instead of playing doing like this I do that slowly starting on the D here and then on the upstroke on the A D F sharp one two three four So also for the C note and the B note, the variation is... And 
this part is actually hard to break apart more than this. So I play the whole B part with, uh, sorry, the whole C part with the variation at a slow tempo. So play along with me, starting with a pickup. One, two, three. Then we're going into the fourth, fourth part and uh, this is like the climax of the tune I think. Now we're in the higher register all the way to A up here and this I'm fretting with the second finger reaching up with the fourth finger to the C note. So we're in this second position. Doing that again. C, A, G, E, D, C, A. I play the D part so you can hear how it sounds. One, two, three, four. Starts off like this on the open E string. One, two, three, four. Then so that's quite a long phrase, and it's also starting from the open E string. And it's all in this second position. So if we just uh, take a close look here, I think you can see what I'm doing. And then we're going into this. Then the ending phrase is a quite long one, sounds like this. First in the ending phrase is yes, I'm sliding into the double E here. Then I'm sliding to the A. So then repeating E. Again a triplet there, going from the note D, C, B, A. And again I'm using, starting on an upstroke here, so that uh, makes my hand fall right on the last A here. I do the whole ending part starting from this uh, double E. One, two, three, four. The 
that's quite a long uh, part, this, the fourth one. So I think you're going to be helped by the notation if you check that out. Play the fourth part together. One, two, three, four. Got this slide here in the in those videos I showed you with Tim O'Brien he's doing a lot of variations also from like the first to the second time he's playing a part but I try to now when I'm teaching it I try to stick to like a really um, like a one yeah one basic melody kind of so then you can of course make variations to it. We try to play the C and the D part. In this tempo. One, two, three. As always start slow learning it like one simple phrase then you connect it with the next one and eventually you will have the whole tune there and also remember to keep it slow at first and then you gradually speed it up I have a third video coming up also showing you the chords uh, how I like to back up this tune and uh, this, this great version with uh, Chris Thiele and uh, Tim O'Brien. Chris Thiele is doing also lots of different variations there. But I try to stick to a more basic one. But that's for the next video. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment if you have something to say. And if you also have some ideas for other fiddle tunes that I can make tutorials like this. And uh, yeah, hit the like button and have a good time. And see you in the next video. Happy picking. See you soon. Bye.